Hello, hello everybody. How you doing? Tonight I hope the answer to that is relaxed. And so I would like to say welcome to Tracy Creating. I am Tracy and throughout this video may you be inspired, learn something new or simply relax while you're watching. But just while I get everything ready on another device, I'll open up the chat so I can see who comes in to say hello. And if there are any questions in the chat box um, that I'll be able to answer for you. So i just like to add at this point, because sometimes I do forget, I do have a Facebook group. It is... Um, um, Creating and sharing with Tracy and so if you're on Facebook and want to join our group I just created it as a place where people who wanted to share their art could come in and do that and I just found that an easier way than email or anything like that so um, that was what the group was created for and to encourage and support so there we have it so what we've got here for tonight is these hexagon tiles and they're still all connected by the mesh underneath. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> so that's holding them all together. So I thought instead of actually separating them all propping them all up onto those little lids that i have what if we leave it all connected do our balloon smash and then after they're all dried and cured then we'll be able to separate them and have individual ones so this is still not showing up on my other device so i can't see anything in the chat as yet but that's okay we will get there and so what I have here I've prepared a balloon and the way I do that is I blow it up I let the air out so I do that three times very focused um, three times just to give the balloon some stretch and so it's not too tight, especially when you grab out a new fresh balloon. Um, so also, what we have going on is some more paints that I've mixed up. And make sure that's down. Yep. Okay, so... Alrighty, I can see now, so that's awesome. Okay, so from the previous live, uh, late last night, I have Montmartre pink and magenta and titanium white. And hey, hey, mom. And then I have what I mixed up to go with that. Um, so they're leftovers, and they have a little amount of silicon in those. This one is the Thalo Blue. It's so beautiful. Um, orange for that little zest. And then some turquoise that gorgeous gorgeous color so the, I feel like that is a really beautiful color range and I can't wait to see how that comes out balloon smashed onto these tiles um, so remembering that there is some silicon that so they're all the Montmartre paints as well that we will have cells pop up Hopefully not too many, because we also have the paints that don't have any silicon. 
Also we will be adding some gold. This is the Semco gold. This one is from Spotlight. Um, it's quite a beautiful gold. Looks a very stunning when it's all dried. So right. That's I think that we've covered everything. My pouring medium is 10% Atelier pouring medium and 90% flood flow troll. And when I mix that together, I then use that mix to match approximately equal parts of that with the amount of paint I'm using. Mix that together and then that is what paints I have here. If I need it a little extra runnier, I will add some water. Whoop, big blobs of magenta over there. Um, but quite often I don't even need to do that. But if it depends on the technique. If you're doing swipes, you may want your swipe colour a little bit thinner than other colours. You know, just all these different things to. So it's personal preference as well. So test out one way, and if you don't like it that way, change it up. Just take notes um, of what you changed so that you know when it comes down to it. Oh, yep, yeah, that's right. I liked it when I did this technique. So that mix was XYZ. So, yeah, while I'm here too, while just pouring on bits of paint right throughout these tiles. Um, also, sorry, because I'm late tonight. Uh, some of these things can't be avoided, but, um, yeah, I just want to know. I apologise to those who will miss it due to the delay, um, but I hope you do find us uh, on the replay if you do miss it. So, there we go. That's the turquoise. Some white. Did I stir that? Just because they were the leftover paints, just want to make sure that they are fully incorporated again before using them. And then now a little bit of that gold. So, so this to me is one of those techniques that starts off looking like a hot mess. But ends up looking so pretty. I love it. A bit of gold over all of it. Alrighty, so because I'm just aiming to smash over the entire surface, I may only wipe off the balloon once or twice. Um, five cents. So I have some photo paper here. If I've got space to put one of those there. And possibly one there. Okay. 
we will see how that goes so it means I'll just move my paints even further away trying to anyway there we go should look pretty yeah absolutely I think these colors are gorgeous I looked at the magenta the pink and the titanium white leftovers and just took a moment to go what do I think would really look nice with that and that's so I chose the turquoise phthalo blue and the orange plus the gold so all right we're gonna get smashing I have a bit of paper towel ready to wipe when needed extra where I can balloon here and here still making room okay so now let's so push down and up oh stunning that's so pretty so just moving along the tiles or even right in between so different tiles are going to have different pattern design on them that's pretty white now <clears throat> so these colors you can see from this paper towel if they get too muddy they're going to go a grayish grayish hue so go in here Going to okay, so definitely I started seeing that grey mix over here, so definitely need to remember. Not too many times. That's nice. You can see cells popping up because there is silicon based on how quickly that is turning gray I am wiping off the balloon more often than I thought I would need to so I get that one and over here that's pretty. Okay, so we are just about halfway through and that uh, paper towel was all done. So, yeah, ready, set, go, absolutely. Uh, so we just get some fresh stuff. So this photo paper is completed. I got a really nice group of balloon smashes out of that one before it started 
getting a little too dark. Now just having a look around, are there any areas that don't have any paint or have been missed? And there's not many, so that's good. Try and get this one off to this photo paper. So there we go, it really just is a gentle push down and raise. So that one I pulled off to the side a little bit and it got more of a, and that's not going to help it focus, kind of like a fan type, so more like the balloon roll. There are plenty of creators out there um, that do balloon rolls. Um, so just again having a look around making sure that all the tiles are covered and so because the balloon is so big and I might only want to bless you uh, cover a tiny corner of one of these tiles I will just I think from now everything looks like it's been squashed somehow I will just use my finger or a stick oh push that back too far um, to guide a bit of color over so where did the orange go oh there Make sure that there's some down there. So just noticing where it's pulled away. I think we're pretty good. I think they're the only two spots that I could see like that. So to help them blend in a little I will just use my finger and there we go. Turquoise there. Have that blend in a bit. So a lot of the balloon smash effects are lost when you have silicon in there. Um, but I don't mind that for this. Because like this is actually the beginning half of the project. So, so now it'll just be raising this up, setting it aside and letting the excess paint drip through that sh and I see another one now use this paint right here there we go so, I'll give it a torch just a once over and then we'll have a close up. Wow, it looks like huge, huge chaos. So it looks like we have an area here of orange that is really, no, it's not too big at all. It's just a, it just appears that way. It looks like it was 
about three times as thick as the other sections of paint so but it's all good right here okay there we have it we'll come down to a close-up and just also wanted to let you know before we get well as we get into that that um, I'm going to be have to, having to put a hold on my live videos and so I will be here for tonight and I'll be here again tomorrow night and then I won't I will put a pause on my live videos momentarily until I get a few things sorted out so just want to make sure that depending on which video you catch that you you know that I will have videos up still um, but it's just the live videos that I'll be putting a hold on. So you can see some of these effects have different tiles if you can make out the shapes of them which you pretty much can will have different different colors different effects some still have amazing lines like this one and some of these over here like there and over there and others have cells that have bloomed all over them. So there we go. That'll be really interesting to see how that goes once pulled apart. And we have one of the balloon papers down here and the other one didn't quite fill up but that's okay that could be a really pretty bookmark or something don't have to fill it out all the way if we don't need to so there we go I will leave you all zoomed in on crazy tile night <laughs> so, there we go stunning thank you very much so we'll see how they come out when they're dry and yeah and then we'll go on from there so such a shame. We're looking forward to your return to life. Take care. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I will be back for lives. It's just a matter of when and what time. Um, what time that I find fits in with the family and everything. So, alrighty. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And so please subscribe, like comment and share it really does help and um, I'm very grateful for all my new subscribers and interaction that we can have here on the channel so well, on that if you have to go anywhere please take care um, it is important because you are important and from myself always Take a bow. <laughs> Curtsy. Da -da. Um, yes, be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Bye.